What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Green Hell. This is episode three, and I think what we're going to be doing today is doing some exploring. But before we start, as you can see, my health is pretty much non-existent. Unfortunately, all of our meat has burned, and if you eat anything that is burnt, it drops your sanity. We're going to need to do some hunting, and then um, we are going to go exploring. Also, before I started the episode, I went ahead and added this little platform here and built a drying rack. And this is mainly to, uh, once we hunt here in a little bit, I'm going to be able to fill this up and leave stuff on here so it doesn't like go bad uh, while we're out exploring. Also, and thank you to Gumby. We now have a name for Mr. Armadillo here. His name is Screaming Harry. Um, he is going to be our friend throughout our journey. Um, unfortunately, we can't take him with us. We need fats. We're not doing great at all on carbs or fats. So we really need to gather some more nuts. Luckily, right in this area across the river from where we set up camp, there's lots of these, the piggies. I don't know what they're actually called, something with a P, but there's always a couple of them right here. Okay, let's just harvest. I can't get my arrow out of it for some reason. Get absolutely wrecked, dude. What is this? Unknown herb. Let's eat it. Plus one parasites. Oh, and food poisoning. Awesome. That's not good. That's not good at all. We're going to be hella dehydrated. Ugh. So every time we vomit, our health goes down a little bit. I think we're fairly close to the original, like, uh, starter base. I think it's right, right through here. I'm going to pass out. Come on. Can we make it to the hammock? Can we make it to the hammock? Hammock, 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 hammock. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Come on. And... Ugh. Wait, did we pass out? Okay, we slept. Okay, it kind of like hit at the exact same time. So I just want to thank everybody that's been tuning into this series. Um, I feel like everybody's really been enjoying it. So it's really awesome to see that. It's been doing pretty well on the channel and I'm really excited to actually do this series. I don't know how long it's going to be. Obviously, we're eventually going to get through the whole story. I don't want it just to be a building or a surviving game. You know, I want to I want to touch on the story like every little bit while we're while we're playing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do some hunting and just get build up a bunch of food because we really, really need that. Oh, something just fell from that tree. Oh, there's coconuts up there. So they do like come around randomly. That's not hairy. Don't worry, guys. Also, I want to see if, uh, if I can like smack the tree and get him to come down. Oh, I can actually chop those trees down. Okay, cool. All right, come here, buddy. Come here. No. Come back here. Don't you run away from me. There we go. We need to um, go back to our base and drop stuff off. We do have some meat. Not a lot, but um, we've got a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to go back there. We're going to throw it on the drying rack and a piece on the fire. And we're going to rest. We got two days till Christmas, so we'll be doing something special for Christmas. Actually, probably not. I don't know what I could do here for Christmas. It's the freaking Amazon. I wonder if you can make. Can you make storage like crates and stuff? I'm gonna look. I don't think I've actually seen any anything like that yet. Um, so I don't know if you can. Okay. So can I put you on there? No, I can't. Let's put all of this meat on there. Boink and boink. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just drop things. I just want to see like what we can drop and like what we can come back to, like if it's going to be here. So next up, we need to build a fire. I don't have any... Did I just toot? Where'd Screaming Harry go? He usually hangs out like right in this area. I swear I didn't kill him earlier. We were clear over there whenever we killed that armadillo. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be back, I'm sure, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to hang out for a little bit longer, try to hunt a couple more things, and then we're going to sleep. And then once we sleep, hopefully some of the food will be done. Why am I shaking so much? So maybe we're not going to hunt because our energy is super, super low. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to bed. Unfortunately, like you can't save it from the top, which is really kind of weird. You can only save it from the bottom. But let's sleep until morning. All right, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. So we're going to save it and then we're going to go and we're going to do some exploring. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to sleep until it's like kind of morning because it's really hard for you guys to see. It's super hard for me to see. It's 1.30 in the morning. So how long can we sleep for? All right, now let's go. Let us go on our journey. So basically what we've been doing is we've been staying 
literally right in this area, this little tiny section here. This is where the original base is, right around in here is where we're at right now. So we're gonna go over here to A2. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna follow this river, and we're gonna go to A2 there. <laughs> Gotcha. So this game has been like super, super fun. Obviously it's been out for like five years now. So it's pretty well like hashed out. I really wanted to do a survival series and I was gonna do it on Sons of the Forest, but like the game itself just isn't done. So I saw like, uh, like an intro of a YouTuber playing this game and I looked really, really fun and really, really difficult. So that's why I decided to, uh, to play this. I think I've got leeches. Yeah, I do. I have been chosen. Ooh, there's a coconut on the ground definitely taking that boink this should be like right here i assume so if we follow this river up to where it kind of stops and go to the right we should be right around where we need to be this looks like a cool little area maybe we should have explored some more before we really like decided to set up our camp because this is really cool so like this i assume through through here Maybe, I don't think we can. Can we not go that way? New map location. Okay, so where does that put us? Oh, okay, so I need a grappling hook. Uh, how do I get up there? Explore the jumble to, f the jumble, the jungle to find a grappling hook. Okay, so what's in our logs now? Need climbing equipment. So these tell us like where we need to be like on the map. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, try to find the grappling hook, I guess. It looks like we're kind of trapped like in this area because there's a couple spots that we need to go to like get a grappling or use a grappling hook. So let's just follow this this way because we haven't been clear back over here yet. I'm really, really surprised. And I know that as soon as I, s I say this, that I'm going to probably die, but we haven't been attacked yet by a Jaguar, which is good because I don't think I have the proper dressings to address those wounds. Instead of exploring this area here, I'm going to go back to base, which is down here, explore down this way, get some food and stuff. We're doing okay right now, but I know that by the time we get back around there, I'm going to end up finding more stuff that I want to keep. And we're just, we're too over encumbered and I've really got to figure out this system for what items to keep and like what is good to have. What are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Have we seen you? Unknown fruit. Let's wait till we get closer to camp before we try those out because I don't want something bad to happen. Oh, look at our fire still on. Oh, oh, can we, can we save it? Can we save it? Yes, we can. Let's find some more sticks real quick. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to put on some of this meat actually first. I'm also still wondering, like, if I put a fire under here, if it'll help that dry faster. Let's try it, actually. Fuck off me! What is on me? I literally was on top of my base. How is that possible? Oh, I cut myself. Which one's the best for that? Is it this? I think this one is. Man, like, literally falling off the base just freaking cut my leg open. That sucks. Why does it always have to rain when I want to build a fire? Okay, so once it stops raining, we're going to test that. Could you stop raining, please? The sky is clear. Okay, let's give her a shot. Hopefully this doesn't burn down my whole camp. That would suck. Okay. You know, I don't think it does. I've been sitting here for a couple minutes and it's going just as quick as before. So it was worth a shot, uh, but it definitely doesn't do anything. Okay, it's now bright and early. We're gonna go down this way. We're gonna search all the way down here. Oh, there is a native man right there. Okay, we may or may not have just uh, committed murder. I can harvest him, what? That's got to drop my sanity. That has to, right? We're just pulling his butt off. Uh, take the tribal spear. Nice. Okay, so this this is where we started the game at. So yeah, we don't need to be coming down this way. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to hug this wall and go clear up here, maybe through here, and just try to find that grappling hook uh, that we're going to need. Now, I don't know if the grappling hook is a late game item, like these spots we can't get to till like later, but you know, we're just gonna search around and see what we can find. Maybe we can go into some of the caves too, cause there's a couple caves around here, like this one right here that's literally right behind our base, actually. 
Yeah, let's come through here. Okay. Took the scorpion. Get a wrecked boy. What's this? Obsidian. Oh, I should craft an obsidian axe. Let's drop this. There's plenty of stones around. We'll keep that. The obsidian axe for now. Iron vein. Oh, I bet you I can make a pickaxe. Can I make a pickaxe? How do I make a pickaxe? Craft. Stone pickaxe, yeah. Okay. So, can I... I can harvest this? Iron ore. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to build, like, a smelter. Well, that's good to know. Um, so I assume that we can probably collect mud, because there's that option whenever we clean ourselves off to collect the mud. And probably make mud bricks. Which might be something that we do after we explore the cave. And... Is that it in here? Is that it? Really? That's all that this cave had to offer. Was just a little bit of iron. Aha! Uh -huh. Take. Can I fish? Come here, fishies. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, also, let's see what the mud does. So take the mud. Mud mixer. Okay, let's take this back. Sorry, I know I, know I just said that we were going to go and do some uh, exploration, but I was just washing myself. Wait, where did it go? Where'd the mud go? Storage box. Wait, what? Sorry, I'm getting so sidetracked. I, I'm so sorry. Mud mixer. Oh, I need to make an actual mud mixer. I was getting ready to build this up next to the base, but if we're going to do a mud mixer, like, you know, I'm, I'm just curious. Like, this is probably going to make the episode a lot longer than I was wanting it to be. But I really, really, really want to see what this does. Because if we can make mud bricks, then we can make a furnace to do the, the iron. Okay. So I need river mud. Take mud. Okay. And then insert. Okay. And then we do it again. Ba doop. Campfire. Oh, that's what you use the campfire ash for. Okay. Then campfire ash. And then what do we need now? Water? How do we carry water over? Oh, the rain. Okay. So I don't need to use the... Uh, the coconut things. We just wait for it to rain. These are mud bricks. Okay, cool. So I can just take these then and then I can start building eventually. Um, can do a furnace, a forge. Um, we can do planters. That's good. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm, I'm really, really tempted to just start building stuff, but I said we were going to explore today, so that's what we're going to do. I know that we've only done it a little bit. Oh, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I didn't realize that. Merry freaking Christmas. Storage box. So we can make an actual storage box. We might want to do that. Only requires 10 sticks. Can I put it under here? I think that would be the best, right? Let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to do this and we're going to sleep and then we're going to go out. I really hope that this works like right here where we're at because <laughs> if I can't open it because it's below that, it's going to be very, very upsetting. There we go. Okay, so I can use it. Okay, nice. So it's just like your inventory. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and go. I know it's a little bit dark, I apologize for that, but it is almost five, so it'll be light here soon enough. You know, I really should have made a torch. What is that? Well, it's one of those flowers that gave us food poisoning. I'm not taking that. I assume that everything in the game has a function, something that you can use it for. There are some natives around. Oh gosh, there's quite a few of them. Damn it. I need to go this way. I really hope that they don't attack. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. We're just going to sneak around this side here. So I assume that after a certain amount of time, they just start randomly spawning in. But as you can see right there is where we had our temporary base at. So they're actually pretty close to that. I wonder if they're the ones that kidnapped Mia. And I wonder if like she's even still like alive. Obviously we haven't heard anything from her since 
the beginning. And we've been kind of messing around and building bases and stuff. We're the good husband. You know what I forgot to do before we left? I forgot to save it. So I'm gonna try to sneak back into this village here real quick. Oh, wait, a coconut bedong? Oh, is that like something I can collect water with? That is awesome. Okay, so this is where we found this the other day, um, but I never came back here after we died. So we are right there. So that's where we were planning on going through. There's gotta be a way to get through there. I assume that these things mean something. Do I give you a stone? No. Boink. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and keep going. We'll just keep searching. I want to cover the outskirts before we do much of anything else because there might be like a cave that actually has a path through the mountain, maybe? I feel like as of right now, we're kind of stuck and that's why we need the grappling hook. What is this? New map location. Okay. Where are we at right now on the map? We're right here. So we're almost to where we went earlier. We really need to find this grappling hook. So I haven't seen a, a jaguar this entire episode, which is, I mean, it's good, but I'm very confused. Okay, I just found these blue mushrooms. I wonder what those do. Two carbohydrates, 10 energy. So I wonder if there's any more around here. What's that? Brazil nut. Um, harvest. Okay, it's a little stack of nuts. Okay. Let's do sanity, 35 fats. Nice. Those are really, really good for you. Okay, cool. Ooh, I think I found a cave right here at the base of this, this waterfall here. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and carry this one now since we actually have the space for it. What is that? A lizard? Gotcha, buddy. Okay, so this cave is literally just this. Like, I wonder if these are just like little spots where it's like, hey, you could probably set up a base here. Why can't I harvest this? Yeah, I just don't think this is like, there we go. You had to be like standing in the right friggin' spot. There we go. So we're clear back like to where we were at the beginning of the episode. And it seems like we have to find the grappling hook and I really want to find it. I'm just going to explore until we find it. And then, then we'll call it an episode. is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. Wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such time, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. So I've been thinking, and normally how I've been doing these episodes was playing for like an hour, hour and a half, and I've been recording for over three hours now and have no clue what to do. So I think what we need to do is probably brew the ayahuasca and do that, because the note at the campfire was talking about the ayahuasca and how to brew it and stuff. So that's probably what we're going to have to do to progress anything, because I've literally been all over this stinking map and can't find anything to progress the storyline at all. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode there. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, Screaming Harry is no longer with us. Hopefully he's back in the next episode. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying this series and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>